Sensory processing disorder, also known as SPD, is a condition that impacts the way your brain processes sensory information. The Sensory Therapy and Research Institute says that there is at least 1 in 20 people in the U.S. that are likely to be affected by sensory processing disorder. People like BU student Jayla Monaco. It's just this very intense feeling of overwhelm to the point where like it's really hard for me to concentrate on what people are saying or you know or communicate the room features comfortable furniture colorful shapes fidget toys weighted blankets lights with dimming capability a bubble wall water fixture as well as a tv that streams the event charlotte powers assistant marketing manager at againis arena says the sensory room is a place to escape from a potentially overwhelming setting we had one authentic voice come in and he said just the amount of shapes within the room is really like pleasing to me and it helps me decompress it's just things that you wouldn't necessarily think up when you're building this room. Paris says they also offer sensory bags for those who may be overwhelmed at the event, but do not need to leave the space completely. Visitors can check these bags out at the guest services booth inside of the Aganis Arena, and all staff members were trained by Asperger Autism Network to interact appropriately with visitors affected by SPD. Paris says they have not run into capacity issues, but expect more people to ask to use the room when Disney on Ice comes back to Aganis Arena this December as they have nearly 3,000 people attend per show. So they will reserve a separate conference room in case of overflow. Reporting for BETV 10 from Boston, I am Aisha Kulibani.